Hey everyone, I've started a Patreon account. If you'd like to follow me there or become a patron, I would appreciate that very, very much. You can find the link in the description below, or you can just head over to patreon.com slash design chicky. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel. Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. Or if you need individual help from me for a renovation you're working on, find me on Patreon. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Today I'm going to give you some key strategies towards making your space brighter and lighter. If you've got a room in your home that always seems dark and drab and closed in, this video is for you. Let's get to it. The first step in making your room feel more open and bright is to declutter and simplify. If your room is full of stuff, well then it will look like it's full of stuff. Reorganize your shelves by placing things in baskets and boxes. Streamline your books and simplify your decorative objects. Removing all the extra stuff makes your shelves feel more open. Leave space between your stuff to really show them off. By decluttering and streamlining, your eye isn't being cluttered with all that stuff and you can see more of the room. Also, is there miscellaneous furniture that isn't being used? It may just be filling up the room for no reason. Decide on what furniture is absolutely needed and what is scaled right for the room. Maybe one chair is better than two. Simplify your artwork on the walls by limiting the number of walls where you display art or frames. Pull in multiple pieces closer together instead of spreading them out. Zeroing in on small groupings of art will help move your eye around the room and will make your room feel more organized and less chaotic. All of these tricks will help make the room feel more open. Another easy trick to adding more light in a room is by adding more surfaces that reflect the light. Mirrors are a great way to reflect more light. Adding a mirror across from a window will help reflect natural light back into the room. Full length mirrors are a great illusion, making rooms feel much larger than they are. Strategically placing mirrors behind or near lighting will also do the same. Mirrors in a dining room are a great example. The light from the chandelier or pendant will be reflected in the mirror, making the room brighter overall. Even your paint sheen can help create more light, or the illusion of more light. Paints come in several different levels of sheen. Sheen is all about shine. In most cases, walls are painted with a matte or eggshell type of paint. But if you want to increase the shine in your room, try a satin finish on your walls instead of eggshell. This will make the surface of your walls more shiny and therefore more reflective. Just make sure your walls are smooth. The extra light bouncing around in the room will make any imperfections in your walls more visible. If you're looking to add dark built-in cabinets but are worried about it being too dark, paint the built-ins in a semi-gloss paint. That level of sheen will make them sparkle and gleam. Of course, another way to bring in more light to a dark room is by actually bringing in more light. More light sources, more light fixtures. Changing the light bulb wattage in your existing lights to increase the level in the room is easy to do. Make sure not to go over the maximum wattage allowed for each fixture though. You can also change the color temperature of the light coming from the light bulb to something more cool. So look for bulbs that offer up daylight versus warm white light. And it's not just making sure the light from the ceiling offers up more light. Table lamps and floor lamps throughout a space provides excellent light and interest to any room. Adding different levels of light makes a room feel larger and brighter. In fact, lights that shine both upwards and downwards offer twice as much light into the room. Adding small table lamps to bookshelves is a great way to bring light to a dark corner. One of my favorite types of light to add to any room are wall sconces. Not only can they add some interesting design details, they can also light up the actual walls, adding more clarity to the boundaries of the rooms and spaces. What about doors? Seeing out into other spaces can make a room feel larger. Change out those doors and install French doors to allow a little extra light from another room.
or remove them all together and widen the openings if possible. And finally, adding more natural light by making sure drapery doesn't obstruct the window can help increase the light levels in the room as well. Shears can offer up some privacy while still allowing light to come through. So look for window treatments that are more transparent rather than opaque. The layout of the furniture within a room can make it feel darker, more closed in too. If large pieces of furniture block light coming into the room like windows and doors, then the room will feel darker. If those pieces of furniture are dark as well, then the light coming in will be blocked and absorbed, a double whammy. So if you're able to, consider rearranging furniture to maximize light coming into the room. You'll make that room less dark. Another strategy with furniture is to choose pieces of furniture that have a slimmer profile, pieces that are less bulky in size and scale. Furniture with open back or open arms are great options. A slipper chair is great because it has no arms, so there's less material and less bulk and that means you can see around it more easily. That will make the space feel more open and less dark. A mix of large and small scaled furniture will trick your eye into thinking there's more space. You just need to make sure you can see in and around the furniture to get that illusion of more openness and that way more light can move around the pieces. And the most important way to make a room feel lighter and brighter is to consider the color palette. Colors are placed into two categories. They're either advancing colors or receding colors. Receding colors tend to be cooler colors on the color wheel. So of course, if you feel your space is dark and closed in, then you'll want colors that feel like they recede into the background. You want those walls to feel like they're falling back, moving outwards, not inwards. So sticking with a color palette that recedes is best. But it's not enough to just go with receding colors. Their intensity is important as well. Dark, deep colors will only make the space feel darker. So you need to choose lighter, paler intensities. For example, this dark blue room versus this light blue room or this. Simply put, dark colors absorb light. No matter how much light you have in the room, that light will simply be sucked into the dark walls. So choose colors that are lighter. Light colors will reflect light. Another strategy to make a room brighter is to paint the ceiling white. Sometimes just a fresh coat of white ceiling paint will make a huge difference. Here, this cabin with its vaulted wood paneled ceiling is a huge space, but it will always look and feel darker because of the dark ceiling. If it were to be painted white, then all of a sudden the space will feel much larger and more open and bright. Here are a few more examples of dark ceilings versus light ceilings. The ceiling is always the biggest plain surface in a room. Most of the light in the room is usually pointing down from the ceiling and there's usually nothing else on the ceiling like artwork or furniture up there. So basically it's the perfect way to reflect light back into the room. Just like the ceiling is one large reflective surface, your dark floors could be a big part of why your room is dark too. Dark floors will absorb light. It could be dark wood or dark tiles. Instead of ripping out or restaining your wood floors, one easy way to brighten up your room is by laying down a lighter colored area rug. Covering up a dark surface with a light one automatically makes the space brighter. It makes the room feel less dark and automatically the color palette in the room is lighter. So here's your takeaway. Making a space feel lighter and brighter can be done several ways. Declutter and streamline the stuff in the room to start. Increasing light sources and maximizing natural light will go a long way. Removing barriers like doors and furniture can help move light around and use mirrors and shine for additional sparkle and gleam. And finally, where dark colors absorb and make things cozy, 
Light colors expand and make things light and bright. From a crisp white ceiling to a light colored area rug, introducing a lighter color palette will get things just right. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you need individualized help from me, find me on Patreon. If you have any design questions, let me know in the comments below, and it could be the topic of our next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.